Hello, 大家好 Welcome to my channel. This is a listening exercise for GCSE Theme One Topic Two Hobby. In this session, you will do a key vocab test first, followed by eleven of my self-devised GCSE style questions. In the vocab test, there are vocabs about hobby that you haven't learnt yet in Year Seven and O Eight, but don't panic, because some of them you may not learn until Year Ten or even Year Eleven. But because most of them are nouns, so no extra grammar is involved. So please just take this opportunity to acquire them now and use them in your speaking and writing in the following years to show off and to further consolidate your grasp of them. You will find I speak more quickly than the speakers in the actual GCSE exam. This is aiming to help you achieve at least a grade seven, hopefully a eight or a nine. Now, have your pen and the paper ready. 我们开始吧，加油 Vocab test. I will read every word twice. Wang, 爱好 Wang, 爱好 To, 看书 To, 看书 Three, 看小说 Three, 看小说 Four, 看电视 Four, 看电视 Five, 看电视剧 Five, 看电视剧 Six, 看电影 Six, 看电影 Seven, 看动画片 Seven, 看动画片 Eight. 看京剧。Eight， 看京剧。Nine， 看赛马。Nine， 看赛马。Ten， 打篮球。Ten， 打篮球。Eleven， 打网球。Eleven, 打网球 Twelve, 打乒乓球 Twelve, 打乒乓球 Thirteen, 打羽毛球 Thirteen, 打羽毛球 Fourteen, 打太极拳 ，fourteen， 打太极拳 ，fifteen， 踢足球 ，fifteen， 踢足球 ，sixteen， 跑步 ，sixteen， 跑步 ，seventeen。游泳 ，seventeen， 游泳 ，eighteen， 买东西 ，eighteen， 买东西 ，nineteen， 玩滑板 ，nineteen， 玩滑板 ，twenty， 玩电脑游戏。Twenty, 玩电脑游戏 Twenty one, 唱歌 Twenty one, 唱歌 Twenty two, 跳舞 Twenty two, 跳舞 Twenty three, 弹吉他 Twenty three. 弹吉他。Twenty-four， 
听音乐 twenty four. 听音乐 twenty five. 流行歌曲 twenty five. 流行歌曲 twenty six. 画画 twenty six. 画画 twenty seven. 爬山 twenty seven. 爬山 twenty eight. 钓鱼 twenty eight. 钓鱼 twenty nine. 交朋友 twenty nine. 交朋友 thirty. 上网 thirty. 上网 thirty one. 聊天 thirty one. 聊天 thirty two. 能让我什么什么 thirty two. 能让我什么什么 thirty three. 会让我什么什么 thirty three. 会让我什么什么 thirty four 难 thirty four 难 thirty five 容易 thirty five 容易 thirty six 开心 thirty six 开心 thirty seven 放松 Thirty seven, 放松 Thirty eight, 有挑战性 Thirty eight, 有挑战性 Thirty nine, 无聊 Thirty nine, 无聊 Forty, 聪明 Forty, 聪明好 ，Have your red pen ready? Let's mark your work. 一爱好 hobby， 二看书 reading or read a book， 三看小说 read a novel， 小说 small talk because in in the uh in any novels usually there are so many conversations, isn't it? Small talks as uh English will say. So when you read a small talk, so it's you read the one you read a novel, um. 第四个，看电视，呃、uh, ，watch telly， 看电视。第五个，对不起 ，number five， 第五个，看电视剧。So, 剧 from the school is a drama. Okay, so 电视剧 the TV drama 就是什么？有 soap soap opera or TV drama 都可以哈。So watch soap opera or 呃、uh, watch TV drama. 六，看电影。So Yin is a shadow. The electronic shadow is 什么啊？就是 film， 对不对 ？Yeah, not really people on the screen. It's all people's shadow, isn't it? 所以就是什么 ？Watch film. Seven. 看动画片，片名算。Another way to say to say movie, but you can't say 电片 Okay, 电影 is a fixed term. But when you give give the genre, when you give the genre, then you gonna use you can use 片 For example, kung fu film, kung fu movie. You can, you can say what? Action. You can say kung fu. Kung fu is kung fu, right? So you can say you can say kung fu movie, kung fu film, or you can say kung fu movie. So when you give a specific genre, then you can use kung fu. So when you give a specific genre, then you can use kung fu. So when you give a specific genre, then you can use kung fu. So when you give a specific genre, then you can use kung fu. So when you give a specific genre, then you can use kung fu. So when you give a specific genre, then you can use kung fu. So when you give a specific genre, then you can use kung fu. So when you give a specific genre, then you can use kung fu. So when you give a specific genre, then you can use kung fu. So when you give a specific From 动物 animals, the me moving things. So moving, moving, uh, moving picture film is 什么？就是 animation, cartoon. Yeah, what the Disney and the Pixar and the DreamWork. Okay, they are very famous for is making very high quality, interesting um、uh, animation and the cartoons. 是不是？所以动画片就是 cartoon or animation film. 哈，所以。你们知道第七个就是 watch cartoon or watch animation. 第八个看京剧，京北京剧 drama 戏剧，所以什么 Beijing opera, watch Beijing opera. 
九，看赛马 ，watch horse racing。赛 you will learn later in the festival. 哈 ，competition. So competition of horses 就是 horse racing. 哈，好，看赛马 ，watch horse racing. 十，打篮球 ，play basketball. 十一，打网球 ，play tennis。十二，打乒乓球 ，play ping pong。十三，打羽毛球，羽 feather。哦、oh, ，羽毛 feather， 毛 is fur， 哈、huh? ，so 羽毛 is usually from birds， 是不是 ？They have they have the feather。球 we know is a ball， 啊，打 we know is action for a for any uh action you have to use your hands， and you know it's a it's a sport because the 球 remind you， the 打 remind you， and the feather。So what kind of a ball will have a animals feathers on？ Is the um Badminton is not the proper nice um uh oh it's called a shot court or something yes、yeah, supposed to have the、uh, feathers on right yeah so 打羽毛球 is play badminton 嗯好下面十四打太极拳 play tai chi 拳 is fist so tai chi we got tai chi sword tai chi fan tai chi 拳 you can say 手 then right you learned the um D and D T and the subject 手工哈 manual crafty works so 拳 you you know it's a、uh, with a 手 so it's a fist so this is the 太极拳哈 play 太极十五踢足球 play ah、uh, football 十五啊十六跑步 jogging 十七游泳啊、uh, swimming 十八买东西 shopping 十九玩滑板啊、uh, Skateboarding. 二十玩电脑游戏，电脑 computer 游戏 game. So play computer game. 玩电脑游戏 play computer game. 二十一唱歌 singing. 歌 is a song. 哈 s o n g. So sing a song. So is singing. 二十二跳舞 dancing. 二十三弹吉他吉他 is a direct translation from guitar. So, uh, the translator is was very clever. Whoever translated this from English, they try to find what they try to find the closest sound of the Chinese to match the English sound, isn't it? So they found the guitar, guitar. So play guitar. Twenty-four, 听音乐 listen to music. 流行歌曲哈、huh? 歌 I said from 唱歌 means songs. 曲歌 is a lyric. The whole thing, okay. Chu is what it's the, the what the composers do is to make the what the rhythm, the sound. So, 歌曲 together is both the lyric and the and the sound, okay, the rhythm and all that. So, it's a song. 流行是 popular, 哈、huh? prevalent everywhere. Everyone's everyone's listening to that song. So, 流行歌曲 is a pop songs. 二十六画画 ，so first 画 is a verb to draw， and then second 画 is a paint is a noun， the drawing the painting itself。so when when you say 我的爱好是画画，哈 ，so I love drawing， I love painting。remember in the action when you have r r never make sound， never make um doesn't really have um。The responsibility to give the meaning. R is just a sound. If you're from northern of China, you like to have R everywhere, yeah. Like 玩是不是玩电脑 If I say 玩滑板我会觉得很别扭 I will feel very odd if I don't have the R there. Okay, so it's only for the pronunciation for the tone. 好，二十七，爬山 climb mountains, 爬 climb. You can see this. This is look like somebody is climbing this mountain, isn't it? So it's very um, the pictogram just showing you what is uh what is about. So it's very very steep mountain. Somebody is trying to climbing up. Okay, 好，二十八。So 爬、oh, ，I just repeat. 对不起，爬山 climb a mountain or climbing mountains. 二十八，钓鱼，鱼 is a fish. Huh? And you know it's a hobby, so you can more or less guess in the context of fishing, isn't it? So it's action. Metal, 钓 it's got metal um 
the life part, your teacher must have taught you this. This is a, a metal radical, radical because the hook, usually the hook, you put a worm or a little bait on to try to get the fish to come to you is made of uh, what? Metal, huh? iron or steel. I, I never, yeah. I have never done the fishing, so I'm not sure about uh, supposedly. I guess it's a metal. So, 钓鱼 fishing. 二十九交朋友 making friends. 三十上网 go online. So, 上 here act as a verb. Go on. Um. 三十一聊天 chatting. 三十二能让我 can make me. 三十三会让我 also means. Can make me followed by what adjective? These two are very powerful structures you can use to what to give justifications for your opinion. 能让我又开心又放松 Can make me both happy and relaxed. 会让我又忙又累 Can make me both busy and tired. So we use 能 the adjective gonna be positive ones. The Be able to make enable me, okay, to to feel good. There's a good good results, good consequence, uh, good results waiting for you. And 会让我 usually followed by what kind of adjective? It's a they are the negative adjective, okay, make you feel bad. Then you gotta use 会 So you're gonna identify what kind of adjective, uh, gonna follow, okay. Then you gotta choose which can, uh, you should use. 嗯，好，三十四难 ，difficult hard， 三十五容易 easy， 三十六开心 happy， 三十七放松 relaxed， 三十八有挑战性 challenging， 啊、uh,。Remember, your 挑战性 is not,、uh, you know, sounds like a negative, but is is not necessarily, yeah, because people some people sometimes will say it's challenging. Actually, it's what. Uh, stimulating, isn't it? Make you excited, especially for people actually very resilient and tough. They love challenges. Okay, so so it depends on the, in the context, huh? Then you decide it's negative. This person likes this thing or not. If they saying that it's challenging,、mm, not necessarily means、uh, they don't like the activity. They may be actually they're really excited about it because it's challenging. 好，三十九无聊，哈 ，boring。四十，聪明 ，clever。好，你们都对了吗 ？Have you got them all right? Okay, so now can you give yourself a fraction out of forty? How many have you got got them correct? Uh, I ho- hopefully you can score to at least eighty percent. The reason I'm saying that is that、uh, if you try to get the maximum maximum、uh, effectiveness of the following GCSE style questions, you need to get the eighty or eighty percent above. Okay, otherwise、uh, you will totally get lost. Uh, in the audio and in the question. So if you haven't scored that, please use this opportunity, use this slide to learn the new vocab. Okay. If you're doing year seven, year your year seven, year eight, I think you need to learn these words first. Okay. And I already group them by the verb. Okay. So、uh, to try to make it easier for you. So listen to、uh, what how I explain the meaning and usage of this vocab, and take the vocab test again. I wrote ones who have scored eighty percent, but you had made some mistakes. Okay, that's fine. Okay, we all make mistakes, and I believe that most of the a lot of this activity is actually up to thirty one. That should be quite maybe half of them you haven't learned in year seven, year eight, or even year nine, as I explained in the first. Slides, okay. So,、uh, can you just learn them, please, before you move on as well? Okay. All right. Okay. Now, let's. Question one to question five. Please pause here for twenty seconds to familiarize yourself with the questions and the given choices. I will read the whole passage twice. Question one to question five. 我觉得打球、看动画片和上网聊天都非常有意思。但是让我最放松的是听流行音乐。跑步太无聊了。滑板虽然很好玩但是
我觉得弹吉他虽然非常有挑战性，但是我爱挑战。Question one to question five. 我觉得打球、看动画片和上网聊天。都非常有意思，但是让我最放松的是听流行音乐。跑步太无聊了，滑板虽然很好玩，但是特别难学。我觉得弹吉他。虽然非常有挑战性，但是我爱挑战。Question six to question eight. Please pause here for twenty seconds to familiarize yourself with the questions and the given choices. I will read this passage twice. Question six to question eight. 我叫诸葛亮，我有特别多爱好，比如看京剧和看赛马，因为能让我又开心又放松。我还喜欢。钓鱼，因为不太难。可是我的朋友周瑜说，我的爱好都是老人的爱好。Question six to question eight. 我叫诸葛亮，我有。特别多爱好，比如看京剧和看赛马，因为能让我又开心又放松。我还喜欢钓鱼，因为不太难。可是。我的朋友周瑜说：“我的爱好都是老人的爱好。”Question nine to question eleven. Please pause here for twenty seconds to familiarize yourself with the questions and the given choices. I will read the whole passage twice. Question nine to question eleven. 我叫周瑜，我最喜欢看电视剧，因为我觉得不但特别好玩，而且还非常容易做。但是我的朋友诸葛亮说，我的爱好。会让我变得不聪明。Question nine to question eleven. 我叫周瑜。我最喜欢看电视剧，因为我觉得不但特别好玩，而且。还非常容易做，但是我的朋友诸葛亮说，我的爱好会让我变得不聪明。Okay, have your red pen ready again? Let's check your answer. 
So a, Brit a British exchange student from London is talking about her preference preferences about different hobbies and activities to her new class in Beijing. Write the correct letter in each box. The activities she likes are B. Playing board games C. Listening to music 3. Playing guitar 4. Watching cartoon movie uh, 5. Is chatting online Okay, if you ha haven't got of uh, all of them correct or you guessed the some you got them right but actually you, you got them right by luck you know you guessed it correctly so please go back listen to the uh, audio again for um, question one to question five do a targeted listening which means you can uh, revisit some of the part okay you can pause and you can uh, move forward okay how so, um, Hobby uh, question uh, 6 to 10 is about two boys, Zhuge Lia and Zhou Yu, are talking about their hobbies and giving opinions about each other's hobbies. Okay, so the, the first part is a si question 6 to question 8 is um, based on the mono monologue of the uh, Zhuge Lia. So first one, which of the follow following is not one of the Zhuge Liang's hobbies? It's C, so uh, he, didn't say, he didn't say that he likes watching film. And uh, which of the following choices depicts Zhuge Liang's reasoning regarding his own hobby? So why he likes his hobby in general is what is the O of above, which means that making him happy, relaxed, and he found that either all of them or some of them are fairly easy to do. Okay, how? Which of the following is a Zhou Yu's opinion, literally, about Zhuge Liang's hobbies? So what Zhuge Liang's friends, Zhou Yu, think about his hobbies is what? Is they, are, uh, they are hobbies for what? For old people, okay? They are hobbies of old people, not for a young boy. So which means that Zhou Yu doesn't think much of Zhuge Liang's hobbies, isn't it? Okay. Now, we move on to uh, 9 to 11. This is uh, based on Zhou Yu's monologue. So what, which of the following is Zhou Yu's hobby? So uh, which means Zhou Yu has only got one hobby, isn't it? So it's very important that uh, you read the question right. Even the pl sometimes the plural is a singular or plural give you an idea, actually. Okay, so it's what? Watch TV drama. Uh, which of the following are Zhou Yu's opinions about his own hobby? Why he likes it is because what well, he found it both fun and easy. Of course, watch watch TV drama. You just turn, turn switch on telly. Very easy to do. And which of the following is Zhuge Liang's opinion about Zhou Yu's hobbies? Uh, Zhuge Liang thinks what well, it will make him silly. Okay, so altogether six questions from six to ten. And uh, six marks, as I said early on, if you made any mistakes or you actually guessed the answer of some of the questions correctly, correct, then you should go back to listen to the recording again. Okay, that's how you learn from your own mistakes. Okay, so if, uh, if you have done really well, congratulations. If you haven't done that and follow my instruction, do it again. This is the end of the listening exercise for GCSE Theme 1, Topic 2, Hobby. I hope you find it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates on GCSE teaching and learning resources. Next lesson, we are going to revise key vocab on Theme 1, Topic 3, Food and Drinks. Until then, 你们都非常棒, 谢谢你们, Thank you, bye-bye.